Hey, I want to just talk to you a bit um, out in this beautiful um, woods. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm somewhere in Illinois. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's peaceful. You can see the lake behind me and uh, you can see the trees blowing. It is a bit windy. It's a beautiful warm day. I have been in Illinois lingering. I'm lingering for a purpose and I'm lingering because I have a new grandchild and that kind of makes you linger. Um, linger means to stick around, to stay, to wait. Um, and a lot of times we linger with no purpose. We just don't have anywhere else to go. Sometimes we linger because we don't want to leave. We, um, we want to stick around. Um, the old Minnesota joke, uh, Minnesota goodbye is you got your hand on the doorknob and you talk for another 30 minutes and my cousin's wife or my dad's cousin's wife used to call up and say, tell Frosty to take his hand off the doorknob and come home because she pretty much knew if he didn't come home after so long, he was leaving. He just hadn't left. That is what we call lingering. There's a Psalm, Psalm 84, 11, that said the Lord will withhold uh, no good thing from those who do what is right. Um, he won't withhold a good thing from those who do what is right. Uh, what does that have to do with lingering? Well, I think it has quite a bit to do with lingering because we wait sometimes for God to do those good things in life. And sometimes we get really tired of, of waiting and lingering because God hasn't done it yet. Uh, and sometimes in those what if moments of life, we really get caught up in the what if moments instead of but God answers. And lingering kind of is, is like that. We kind of, we have to wait. And if God will not withhold a good thing for those who do what is right, why am I still waiting for that good thing? It's just really interesting because um, sometimes when you linger with people, you get to be really good friends. Sometimes when you linger with situations, you see the other side of it. Sometimes when you linger, it causes you to go adventuring and find parks and lingering has its purposes. And one of the things I think that, that God does for us and with us is he tries to tell us that he will be the gap to, to fill, he will be the one to fill that gap when we are lingering and waiting. Um, nothing like having waiting to, to develop patience, which of course we all know we don't, we want patience, we don't want to have to wait to find out if we have patience. And he says, teach me to linger in your presence. I was made to know and be known by you. I want to linger in God's presence so that I see and understand the good things that he is giving to me. Sometimes when we don't linger, we go right on to the next best thing. And we have a lot of best things that we can do in life. They may be not the bestest, and then that's not a word. Um, maybe they're just good things, but, but God wants us to have the best thing and we get this best thing that we have wanted to have for so long. We're not content. We want to go on to the next best thing. And, and, and God says, I want you to linger a bit. I, I want you to linger, but I don't want you to linger and just wait and get impatient. I want you to linger in my presence. I want you to get used to just hanging around with me Yes, I promise to do the things for you, and I promised to, um, if you do what is right, I will give you good things. But I don't want you waiting around for what God will do for you, and then as soon as he's done it, you're on to something else. We need to learn to linger in the presence of God, and we need to linger peacefully. Um, some of us linger impatiently. We tap on tap on the table or we tap our foot on the floor or we've got to be fidget spinners. I, they, I don't understand fidget spinners, um, but that's how we wait with, with God. God has said, I want you to just linger in my presence. And we go, okay, give me a fidget spinner. I got to do something. Just, just spend time with God to be known by God and to know God. Relationships, they take time. And some of the best friends that I have developed have been people that um, I've met, we've hit it off, and we've had some interesting late night discussions. Um, way back, uh, I wasn't married, it was in the 80s, I went to, um, went to Vermont and met, met this gal. Her name was Miss Mack, which wasn't really her name, but her name was Linda Mack. 
no, Minda McDow McDaniel. So everybody has nicknames. And we hit it off and we would talk and we would talk and we would talk. And my mother flew out to spend time with us and we'd start talking at night. And of course, mother was sleeping up in the same room with us. And pretty soon she'd go, I need to go to the bathroom. And so then I'd go in the bathroom and she'd go, let's go to Burger King. And we'd go to Burger King and sit and talk for until they kicked us out. And, and then I went out to Kansas, Oberlin, Kansas, and, and we stayed in this camper of sorts and we would talk half the night. You know, when you choose to do that, you develop relationships. You can't help it because you're lingering in their presence. Um, one of our vacations that we went on with our good friends um, found um, my husband and the other dad in the motel room sleeping with the kids and Denise and I sat on the back steps of a hotel and talked all night partly because that's the only way we could discuss life and we needed quiet in the back the back steps of a hotel was was our place and we were lingering there's something about lingering with people and discovering their hearts that gets you to know them and and, and God is no different he says teach me to linger in your presence this is a psalm I have no clue where it's from but I wrote it down so I'm sure it's accurate teach me to linger in your presence I was made to know and be known by you but if we choose not to linger in the presence of God and we just wait for these good things that he has talked to us about in Psalms, I just want the next best thing and then I'm gonna go into something else. If we just don't linger in his presence, we're gonna miss some of the beauty of the relationship because we're scurrying about to the next best thing. So it could be a lake, it could be a bike ride, it could be a night sitting in the back steps of a hotel, um, but teach yourself to linger not just with God but linger with people and we are made to be known and know God and we are created for community to be known by others and to know others that results in loving people just a challenge for your day go find a way to linger